NASA just released their newest supersonic jet, and here's everything you need to know. First of all, the Lockheed Martin X-59 is an aircraft that Lockheed and NASA have been working on since February of 2016. Their goal with this aircraft is to quiet sonic booms from instead of making a huge sound like a car door being shut. To almost like a whisper, as said by Pam Melroy, who is a NASA deputy administrator. It produces a gentle bump. A mere whisper compared to the disruptive booms of the past. Secondly, why does the aircraft have such a long nose? Well, the reason behind it is because shocks are formed around the aircraft. And at the end of the aircraft, they go to gather to make that giant boom you hear when an aircraft goes through the sound barrier. So instead of going right through the shockwave, the aircraft is so super aerodynamic, so it just pierce right through the shockwave like an arrow and disperse the shockwave from ever meeting up at the back of the aircraft. Now let's move on to some of the cool facts about the aircraft. The first cool thing I saw about the aircraft is the fact that its cruising altitude is 55,000 feet in the air, which is about 20,000 feet higher than a regular airliner. And the next thing I found really cool is its cruising speed, which is Mach 1.42, which is insane to me. Well, this is all nice, but what does this mean for the future of aviation? Well, this means that in the future, hoping NASA's plans go nice and swell, aircraft companies might start making supersonic jets following the same properties as the X-59, which has not been done since the Concorde. Of course, there's going to be different things that they have to do to make the aircraft longer, why not? But something along the lines of an airliner having a supersonic jet might come back.